Instead of shading with black on a lower opacity, use a multiply or linear burn layer instead. Make sure to use references when you're drawing. No one can remember what everything looks like off the top of their head. When painting, make sure your mid-tone is more saturated than your shadow tone. This especially helps when trying to make skin feel more vibrant and alive. Make sure to name your layers, especially if you have a lot of them. Learn basic perspective. This will really help out if you want to draw backgrounds. If you're using Photoshop, hold shift to draw a perfectly straight line. Learn color theory. When drawing a human, simplify their anatomy into basic shapes. This will make it much easier to draw. If you don't know what colors to pick when coloring a character, use a pre-made color palette. You can find heaps of these online. When drawing line art, don't be afraid to draw over your already existing lines. Just make sure to erase the parts you don't want after. Make sure to flip your canvas every so often. This will help you spot mistakes you might not have noticed otherwise. If your line art looks too boring, try adding some line weight. When choosing colors for a character design, make sure they aren't oversaturated. A lot of beginners tend to do this. When drawing a face, make sure to draw a cross over the middle. This will indicate where the eyes will sit and where the middle of the face is. Learn how expressions work. Don't be afraid to make your shadows darker. These shadows right here are definitely way too light. When you're sketching, make sure to zoom out so you can see what the whole piece is going to look like. When you're drawing line art, make sure to zoom in. This will help you get much more precise lines. If you're drawing with a mouse, don't! Use a tablet. You don't need an expensive drawing tablet to make good art. As long as it works, then it's fine. If your lines tend to be wobbly, turn on the smoothing option. As you probably expect, this will make them look smoother. Whenever you draw eyes, don't forget to add a little white highlight. It really brings them to life. If you want a more dynamic looking piece, add a secondary light source. When adding another light source to your drawing, I recommend using a screen, color dodge, or light layer. Make sure to avoid tangents when doing line art. These are tangents. If you want to design something, like a character, make a mood board. This will help for inspiration and it can be used as reference. If you don't want to draw the other eye, hide it. Study anatomy, please. This will help so much. If your character doesn't look like it fits in the background, add a multiply layer on top with the color of the background. Make sure the size of your line art is at least somewhat consistent. Make sure you draw the anatomy of a character before you draw their clothes so that their proportions will be correct. Make sure to constantly be saving your artwork, especially if you're using a program like Photoshop. If that program crashes and you haven't saved, then you'll lose all of your progress. Don't trace other people's art. This won't help you improve and generally looks bad anyway. If you want a more dynamic looking pose, use foreshortening. Don't make your line up too thick. It tends to look better when it's thinner. If you don't want to draw the hands, which is understandable, they're very hard to draw, put them in your character's pockets or behind their back or just hide them in general. <laughs> if your character is outside, the shadows should usually be tinted blue. If you're drawing something that is symmetrical, like a face for example, use the symmetry tool. That's what it's there for. Make sure you always draw on a canvas at least 1080 by 720 pixels wide, otherwise your artwork is going to look very pixelated. When exporting your piece, make sure to export as a JPEG or PNG for the best quality. When drawing your shadows, use a clipping mask. This will make it so you can't draw outside the lines. When sketching, try to avoid making chicken scratches and instead use longer, more confident strokes. To make a surface look curved, use an airbrush to draw the shadow. When drawing line art, make sure you turn the opacity of your sketch layer down so it's easier to see what you're drawing. When sketching anatomy, don't be afraid to use the transform tool to fix the proportions. When drawing shadows, make sure you have a clear idea of where the light source is, so all of your shadows will be facing generally the same direction. When colouring, use the bucket tool. It tends to speed up the colouring process. If you're using Photoshop, don't use the bucket tool. It sucks. If you want to fix the bucket tool in Photoshop, first select the part you filled in with the magic wand tool, then expand the selection by one pixel, then fill it in again by hitting Alt plus Delete. If you don't want to buy an expensive painting software, then use one of these free ones instead. I personally recommend Fire Alpaca because that's the one I started off with. And finally, getting good at making art is really difficult and it takes a long time. You're probably going to make a lot of bad drawings along the way, but if you stick with it and don't give up, eventually you'll end up making some really cool art. <laughs>